Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Robel and today we're going to be creating this 3D Polaroid effects in After Effects. And I'm going to be walking you through all the steps on how I created this uh, animation. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. The first thing we're going to need is a clean footage that a camera is coming toward us or going backward. Either way, it will work. And then we're going to need a lot of pictures with weird poses. I cannot stress this enough. And then we're going to take those pictures into Canva and turn them into Polaroid images like this by just dragging and dropping. It's really easy. Then we're going to have this Polaroid uh, image and then we're going to jump into After Effects. Okay, here we have our clip. Uh, I imported this clean video. It's just me standing up and stuff, just tying my shoes. And so I'm going to cut up to here and right click and then trim work to a work area. And then the first thing we're going to do is 3D track. So if you can find tracker on your window here, you can find it on Windows and you can find track. You can click on the tracker and this panel will open. So now I have it here and I'm just going to click on the clip itself and then a track camera. A few moments later. Okay, and now our tracking is finished and it's solving the camera. And so we'll get to the next point. As you can see, it did a detailed analysis and we can see those 3D points here. But if you want them to be a little bit bigger, we can increase the track point size. So let's make it bigger a little bit. And also maybe the target size, something like this. So if we go to our clip, we can see that there are some 3D points. And now uh, let's get to creating a, a camera and a no. So the first thing here is while clicking on the 3D uh, tracker, I'm going to make a point somewhere, let's say here. So I'm going to circle around some points here and right click on it and then create a no and a camera. So here, as you can see, we, it's created a no layer and also a camera. So here we can call this no layer track one. And the next picture we want to put uh, is, will be somewhere around here, maybe. So let's create no points. So here I'm just trying to create a no points that where we will position our Polaroid image. So I'm going to rename this to uh, new layer two. So we have eight pictures. So I'm going to make eight new layers around our clip. Just going forward a little bit again. And we somewhere here to create another new. Rename it to new three. It's easy. Uh, it's good to keep things organized like this. I mean by renaming them. So I'm going to go forward again somewhere here and also create another new layer. And I'm going to call this track no layer 4 and just go a little bit forward also. Also over here, I can make some points here. Something here might be nice. Another new layer and rename it to 5. And go forward a little bit. Also select our clip here in the 3D camera tracker. And I'm going to make a point around here too. And another new layer. And let's call this new layer 6. And more forward somewhere here. I'm going to call this new layer 7. And let's create one more somewhere here. And let's create something like this somewhere here behind us. Okay, and let's rename this to new layer 8. Okay, so now we just created eight new layers around our clip so the next thing we're going to do is uh, i have organized the pictures like this on a polaroid image like this and what i'm going to do is import the first picture or we can actually import everything so select everything by shift clicking and then import every picture here so now we have all these pictures here uh, but as you can see we have this black bar so we need to remove this so the way we're going to remove it is by making mask. So I'm going to turn off all of the pictures, leave out only the first one, and I'm going to pre-comp it. And in this pre-comp, it will be like something like this, and move all attribute to the new composition and I'll press OK. Okay, here in our uh, new composition, we have this picture. I'm going to turn on this 3D layer to it and also 
I'm going to pick the pen tool and mask out the uh, this black bars on our Polaroid image we generated from camp. So just mask it something like this. And for to make the masking more efficient, let's just zoom in a little bit and adjust the mask a little well. So to like smooth the points. Um, something like this. And we can use this mask for the other pictures if we can copy it. To just make sure to make this correct, as correct as possible. And this looks good, that's nice. So I'm going to copy this mask. If you press M on this, you can see a mask layer. So just press Ctrl C and you can copy the mask. And we're going to do, and I'm going to turn on the 3D layer for this composition as well, the pre-comp. And I'm going to make a pre-comp for all of them and uh, transfer our mask. So make a pre-comp, make it a solid layer and control your mask and it's almost equal but just need a little bit of adjustment so just zoom in a little bit and then you can adjust it don't mind my picture it's funny i know it's just I'm just trying to stay creative right like, okay let's select the pen tool and it should just so go like this yeah this looks good and turn on the 3d layer for this and go to the main composition turn on this one too and let's do the third image pre comp it yes here turn on the 3d layer and paste your mask Control v and it's almost perfect i need more adjustments okay this looks good let's move on to the next one. here on the fourth image right click pre comp Okay, and turn on the 3D and control V the mask. Okay, adjust the mask a little bit. There's still something to be adjusted. If you press M, you can watch the mask a little bit. And something like this would be. Yes, I'll go to the next one. Five pre comp it. Okay, I'll turn on the 3D layer and paste your mask. Zoom in a little bit and let's adjust the mask. Looks good. Uh, let's go to the next one. Number six, pre comp. Okay, and here you're going to paste the mask. I zoom in a little bit, adjust the mask a little bit like this. Turn on the 3D layer and go to the next one. You can turn on the 3D layer here. Here, pre okay, turn on the 3D layer, paste your mask and adjust the mask a little bit like this. Maybe a little bit more. This is lips and okay, this looks good. Let's move to the next one. Turn on the 3D layer here. And the last one is here, pre comp it. Okay, make it a 3D layer, paste the mask and adjust the mask. Looks good, maybe a little bit more. And then, okay, here, turn on the 3D layer for all of them. So they look good in my opinion. Just double checking. Okay, so we have made a pre-comp for all of them and turn on the 3D layer and put mask on them. So I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to turn on all the layers here and after that uh, using the pick whip tool I'm going to attach each new layer to the each pictures for example we have the first image here and I'm going to attach it to the first new layer we just created so pick the whip tool and attach it like this and the second one to the second one the third one to the third one the fourth one to the fourth one uh, the fifth one to the fifth the sixth one Six, seven one to the seven, and eight one to the eight. And now it's just about positioning all of the pictures. So select your first image and just decide where you want it to be. You can rotate it something like this or make it smallest, let's say somewhere here. And the second image, I want it to be somewhere here. Rotate it, move it to the Z axis, rotate it or on the X. The third image, move it to the Z line, drag it backward and maybe upward a little bit. And the fourth one, so you can even move uh, into your timeline and adjust the positions of each of them. So let's uh, make it to like this, rotate it and uh, in the z-axis you can push it backward and on the x something like this and the fifth one something like this move it to the z and put it back somewhere here it looks good the sixth one put it back on the z-axis and maybe up somewhere here we can adjust it later more 
but for now I'm just trying to spread the image to the 3D space as much as I can. But you can take your time to refine it more. So on the z-axis, push it a little bit and up maybe. And this one is the red one. I'm going to push it on the z-axis and make it up somewhere here. So look, now we have all the images here. And as you can see, it's just walking by this. Uh, so, but we can still refine it more. I mean, while placing the images. So this, you can do it on your own. This is uh, like placing the image uh, where you want to, but uh, I'm going to skip this process and I'm going to actually show you uh, how to spice it even more later on. But this is the main concept here, just placing the image wherever you want them to be. Since they are in 3D and the camera is there, it will be like floating around our composition. So it's like something like this. So it looks good. So I already spent more time on it and as you can see uh, I have this one uh, I have this one I spread them around uh, the 3d space like this and now they kind of look good and as you can see you can create this effect just by placing them around your 3d space so yeah this is how you do it okay guys this is what I have for today and I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it and if you do make sure to like and subscribe it would mean the world to me and i'll see you guys in another video and till then goodbye